Hello, this is Chris, back again with another video. Today we're going to talk about the Mavic Pro and whether you should upgrade or try to make the Mavic Pro better. Today, with the help of a 3D printer, we're going to do just that. So if any of you have LiPo batteries, you know, Phantom, Mavic, whatever, I really recommend uh, these bags. Again, you can uh, order them on the DJI website. This particular bag holds up to three Mavic batteries and uh, two Phantom 4 batteries. Um, but I would like to protect my batteries a bit more. So uh, I want to print uh, some caps. Uh, for these batteries and there's a few options that we can look at on Thingiverse. So th this cap is the one I like best. Uh, there are other caps on there but uh, I thought this was the best because uh, this guy printed in uh, ABS and that's what I have at the moment. I don't have PLA and uh, ABS tends to be a bit uh, stronger than PLA from my experience and uh, so anyway it's, it looks like it's a tight fit which I like looks fairly simple and I can print uh, a bunch of them quickly so let's take a closer look at this one yeah that, I like that a lot and uh, I don't have any black ABS at the moment uh, so I'm gonna print in red and I don't mind that at all so um, I want to give this guy props, so let's look at his uh, address here. I think that's how we do it. And uh, if it works out well, I would like to tip the designer. So uh, this is the 3D printer he used. I don't have the maker gear. I have a Hamlet uh, 3D printer. It's um, 3DX100. And uh, so far so good uh, with this printer. And um, yeah, I'm going to be doing more prints, uh, not only for the Mavic Pro, but also for my Parrot b uh too, as well. Okay, so I have my software that I use for printing. It's called Peak 3D, and I've rotated uh, the cap so the open part is uh, facing up. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, so hopefully you can see that okay. Okay, so that's how it's looking, and uh, right now I'm going to just click print and see what happens. Oh, first I want to um, generate the code here and make sure everything's cool. Alright, so I have it fast, uh, layer height 0.27, he said that would be okay. I do not need any uh, uh, support material, but I will print on uh, a raft. Uh, support. I always recommend doing that because then it will stick to the heating bed uh, much better. So let's get started. So I can generate code here, but this is all my original uh, preferences. So let's go print this. Shouldn't take too long. I'm just going to print one and see what happens. So now it's uh, starting to print. It had to heat up the filament at 220 degrees Celsius and uh, heat up uh, the heating bed. So at, what was that temperature? 104 uh, Celsius. So this should be 
pretty quick, and once this prints and I uh, and I test uh, the cap out, um, I'm going to try to print uh, two more because I have a total of three batteries, and um, I, I've never printed uh, two things on this heating bed before, so I might have to go uh, one at a time. <laughs> your cap okay we're done um, it's a nice snug fit there's a few things I have to do like sand uh, the raft off of the the print but uh, other than that uh, it, it only took 14 minutes to make uh, you know it doesn't use a lot of filament it's gonna protect your battery um, even if you don't have a 3d printer you can go on thingiverse and uh, ask this guy to print it or you can contact me and I can print a bunch uh, for you depending on how many batteries you have um, yeah it's not all that complicated so anyway keep your battery safe thanks again for watching please like subscribe comment and uh, get ready for more videos to come